we let the sheep out for a little while and the little lamb kind of surprised at how far the mom was willing to go from the lamb so we herded them back this way so she could he wants to nurse so bad but she won't stop mommy We bought these panels. I can't remember if these are called cattle panels. I think so. And, and we had them all hooked up with tipo so that sheep couldn't move them or anything. And then uh, when we were taking the tipo up so we could move this whole section again because they eat it within just a couple hours. Maybe even one hour. I don't know. But we usually move them once or twice a day in this little thing. Cameron and I decided let's just try it with no t post and see how they do. And they have been in this thing for about three days without moving it, without lifting it up, even though I bet they could if they wanted to. These things are like bulls. And then we just slide it over every couple of days and they mow it down. If you can tell that they can reach, they can reach their heads out like that much on the camera, but it's like a foot. And they mow about a foot around it. So this is working really good until we get the full fence done. And you're ready to get moved, aren't you? Yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. There, I was only able to scoot it over about a foot without anybody's help. So they're going to town on that already. So it rained all night last night and all the nasty little things are out. Look at that massive, disgusting, nasty worm. I just don't even believe it. I don't eat it. So the kids got this little cheap bug catcher kit thing, and I'm not touching it, but let me see it. Okay, don't stay very still. Very gross. Hopefully it cannot get at, what, what are you doing? Oh. Okay, now you gotta kill it. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. Yeah. All right, it is in the 50s today, and this morning we were gonna start working on our fence line, getting it cleared that way when we do buy fence, uh, it can go quicker. So after, it probably took me 30 minutes to get everybody all winterized to come out. And then I finally start getting myself ready, and then I got kids coming back in. They gotta go to the bathroom, so they gotta take off their gloves and take off their jackets, and then we have to do it all over again. So Matt's out here getting all the tools that we're gonna need all um, up and running because they've been sitting through the winter. And then we're gonna go down here and see what Cameron's up to. He's already started this morning. We've got a tree, cedar tree right here. That we're gonna have to cut up with the chainsaw and then probably one or two of these ones we're gonna go ahead and take down uh, so it kind of stinks it's gonna take our barrier away from the road a bit maybe we'll end up having to plant something else I don't know but it also having all these trees and stuff blocks a lot of the dust when it gets really dry and dusty you'll see all the trees down the road covered just orange completely orange so that part it kind of stink, but looks wise it looks good. And here it's all thick again. So we gotta go all the way around. What are those two doing? It'll be interesting to see what we do when we get down here to these big thick ones. Down here cutting the fence line, this is where it kind of gets into some tough decisions. You got all these cedars that make a nice wall blocking us from the road and blocking some of the dust, okay, but yet it's taken up here. quite a few feet of the pasture. And then I'm thinking if we cut some of them, it will give some of these other trees a chance to kind of fill out that look better than the cedars and feel better. <laughs>
so this morning I came in to check on the dogs and Pearl wasn't who was pregnant wasn't really wanting to leave the house and I came out here just now to give her some honey and egg hey Pearl it's okay Pearl you got little puppies now good girl don't don't squish them come on little one hey Pearl good job mommy Oh my gosh, look at all those puppies. Good thing I came in here to check. Good job, Pearl. Alright, there's one over there away from the other one, so I'm gonna have Cameron go get it. I'm really hoping we don't lose any. Mommy, let me count puppies. There's one, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah. Number six needs to be with five. Alright, if you have never tried cramp bark, you really should. If you are a female, I'm sure you can figure out why. I just take one syringe full and put it in about one to two ounces of water. Mix it up and drink it, and I usually only need it once a day Why things are not going so good. Sunday at church. Nobody here but us. So sad, but all for our health. So we're going to take advantage and take the take Christmas lights down off the volleyball net and then we're going to get our grill because unfortunately it will be a long time before we get to grill out with church family. So we might as well take it home. Guess what we have in our chimney. And it just flew out. Cameron just saved its life because I would have left it in there instead of making that giant mess. Let me see. It's cute. <laughs> you guys need to finish breakfast. Look at this Westeria blooming. One day, one day I will have my own. Wow, it's gorgeous. Trying to get dinner ready. And the kids outside playing. Dog was barking at something in the tall grass. So what did they do? Go to see what it is. Let's go look. Is it chopped? Are you getting good shots? Not yet. Back up. Oh, that is why we tell you what. Stay out of the grass. Now the worms aren't from the snake. Me okay. and Kara were getting worms for okay. paint, the turtle. Ka are you... <sighs> A minute ago, the snake was opening its mouth. It's freezing cold, guys. You guys are crazy.